We have some more trash talk tonight in Port Arthur, if you will. Uh, we told you for weeks and months about garbage piling up in different parts of town. Some of it has been picked up, but well, with the weekend here, many families are still crying foul, complaining about the sight and the odor from piles of garbage. KFTM's Aaron Mack, new at 10 tonight. If you're riding throughout the city of Port Arthur, scenes like this one off 9th Avenue and Lakeshore have become all too common. Trash sitting on roadsides turning neighborhoods into what some would call public landfills. To my point of view, I believe the city has started to, I'm going to say, lag down a bit since Hurricane Harvey. Uh, after the floods, of course, they lost a lot of their equipment or trucks. Or Nancy Guyton says her trash has been sitting in her yard for two months now waiting for pickup. Others, she says, are waiting even longer. Uh, amount of taxes that we get paid, that we get, I'm sorry, that we, that we get charged for them to pick up the trash, uh, garbage, and you know, debris, or you know, whatever. I think that should be enough money for them to have already bought some new equipment, you know, for our trash to be picked up at least twice, twice a month, at least. KFDM Fox 4 reached out to Port Arthur City Manager Ron Burton. He wouldn't answer our questions by phone, email, or text. Those questions include why the city is taking so long picking up trash and is a worker shortage to blame. Burton pointed us to a city memo that admitted to a two-month delay in trash pickup. We asked Port Arthur Mayor Thurman Barty the same questions. One would be a staffing where we don't have all of the trained staff that we actually need and uh, because of uh, attrition and uh, just some resignations from individuals who've gone to uh, better or higher paying jobs, you know, who actually were the people that knew how to operate the equipment. Barty also says mechanical problems have put some garbage trucks out of commission. The city left with only five of 10 working vehicles. Us as residents, it's our, it's our responsibility to keep our properties clean. And we're doing that, we're, how we're all supposed to stack up our garbage, our, our, you know, big trash, but then it's their part, you know, it's their turn to come do their part and pick it up. Barty asked citizens to be patient, saying they want to resolve the problem as much as the people who want to watch trash piling up in their neighborhoods. In Port Arthur reporting, Aaron Mack. The city has hired a consultant to help come up with some permanent answers to the trash problem.